Today on Ham Radio QRP, we look at putting space between our characters and our words. Okay, let's talk about space. No, not space, the final frontier, but space between your Morse code characters and space between your words. So if you don't put space between your characters, then your characters can end up sounding like other characters, right? Um, and if you don't put space between your words, then nobody can understand what you're sending. All right, so how much space do you need to put between um, characters and words? So let's remember that Morse code is made up of elements, right? One element is a dit, and a da is three times longer than a dit, so that's three elements. So when you're sending characters in a word, you want to have a three element space between each of the letters in the word. So what's a what's three elements? The three elements is a da. So depending upon the speed at which you're sending, a da is the amount of space you want to put between the characters in a word. So how do you get something like that to work in your mind? So let's let's look again. You know, one element is a dit. So an E is a single Morse code element right? And a da is three elements, three times longer than a dit. A t is a single da. So a dit and a da, three times longer. So when you're sending a word, you want to have the equivalent of a da space between each character. So don't think of it as a T with some space on either side. It's the same amount of time that it would take to send that, that DA at whatever speed, speed you're sending. If we send a word, we're putting some space, a DA's worth of space, between each of the letters. And if I was sending faster, the space would be shorter because the time that a DAW would take at a higher speed would be longer. If I was sending at a slower speed, the space between the letters would be longer, right? So what does it sound like if you're not putting enough space between your characters? Kier can't even interpret it, but in your mind, you, you think you know what you're sending. Right? So in my head, I can hear my W O R D. But the keyer can't interpret it because it doesn't even see any space between those elements of one letter to the next. Now it's correct. And there's going to be, it's going to seem different with different letters. Right? So if you're sending say the letter E, two E's in a row, the space between the two E's might sound longer than the space between two longer characters, you know, a Y or, a, or an F, just because in your head it takes longer to send a letter like an F than it does an E. Okay, so how do you practice this space between letters in a word? I would practice listening to just the sound of a DAW over and over. Right? Are you hearing that DAW? Are you hearing the space between the DAW? So as I'm sending T over and over, there should be the same amount of space between me sending a T and the next T. If I do them too fast, then that's a different letter, right? And that's why you don't rush the characters in a word. If the inter-character spacing in a word is three elements, between words we're supposed to have seven elements. Seven elements is the recommended spacing between words. That's a dit and two daws worth of elements. Because a DAW is three 
a dit is one. So a dit and two daws. What's a dit and two daws? Well, a w is a dit and two daws, or you could do it the other way around. But what does that sound like? So that's one of, a w by itself is how much space you should have between words. You could practice that by just sending a number of w's in a row and then try to leave space of that same amount of time. So if we put those things together, Space, the final frontier in Morse code. Don't be one of those folks who scrunches everything together. 